Okay, so this is just going to be a quick review of one of these Chinese Geiger counters, this one being the BR9B. Uh, so to turn it on, you press on. Now, this is the Chinese language version, unfortunately, so I can't read any of that, but then you press this one as OK. Right, then it comes up. It takes a moment to warm up, and annoyingly, the sound doesn't work on this one. So the thing is, the buttons are actually sort of in English anyway. So if you press the sound one, it should be particle sounds at the moment, as in ticking. That should be, I think, alarm and um, ticking. And that one should be mute. So I think the mute's a new feature since the BR5, whatever it was called, the old one I had. So the micro sieverts per hour bit, um, the reason it's higher than you'd expect is because I've got a check source nearby. And annoyingly, um, it might be a bit difficult to give you accurate readings of this. But I did try it and it does go to my regular background levels in a different room. But anyway, I've got a check source nearby, which is why it's going off. So it's actually quite sensitive, this, which impressed me. The um, You can either run it um, off of a USB or off of batteries. So I've got batteries in there at the moment. I think it's three AAAs, if I can do that with one hand. Yeah, it's three AAAs. Now, the speaker is there, but obviously, like I said, the speaker annoyingly isn't working on this one. So what I'm going to do is, um, not right now, but I am going to take it apart in a later video um, and see if it's just a loose connection or something because as you can hear it's not starting up because I'm um, tapping it so it might be it's not been soldered on properly or whatever. So anyway, let's put that right over here so it's as far away from my stronger check source as possible. Um, and as you can see you basically get a graph type thing there and then you get a dose. So basically you get the micro sieverts per hour real time one. The second one I don't actually know what all that is because it's in Chinese but it also says micro sieverts an hour. That might be an average type thing where it's, um, you know, your current micro sieverts per hour basically updating per second and then your micro sieverts per hour updating every minute. I think that's what it is if it's like the BR5 um, or whatever the name the older model was. And that's where it says MSV, that's millisieverts, so that's your accumulative dose. So I guess every now and then that will update with a little number. Um, so there we go, the graph's got to the end, so that's going to overwrite the old graph. And you, if you press, um, the light is for the backlight, so if you want it to save batteries or not save batteries, so there we go, that's for that. Play clears it. There you go. But actually, interestingly, unlike the older model, that keeps recording, which is good, even if it clears the sort of other screen. So there we go. That's it reacting a little bit to a bit of uranium glass. That's not very strong, but... It does pick that up, which is good, which impressed me, because some cheap Geiger counters can't actually pick up little bits of uranium glass like that. But anyway, let, let's see if we can max it out. So what it's responding to is this bit of radium here, um, a DP63 scale. So as you can see there, it's already, as you can see, you're ticking up on it. So let's just put that against it and see. Um, that should go to 99. And, you know, the alarm should be going off if it had the alarm um, working on it, but it doesn't. And you should also be hearing it ticking, but um, there you go. But yeah, so you've also got a little battery indicator down there. And yet you can see that the actual millisievert number's going up there for your, like, total dose. So that would be one millisievert in front of the decimal. So yeah, that would just be um, zero, as it says, 0 0.03 millisieverts. So yeah, that's um, it. So basically, that's three micro, uh, three micro sieverts there, four micro sieverts absorbed. So that's actually quite a good thing. So I don't dislike this. This is actually quite good for a cheap Geiger counter. It's just because the sound doesn't work straight out of the packaging on this one. Um, I can't really recommend it for quality control reasons. But as I said. When I'm not making this video, I will take this apart and just check if it's a loose connection or something. But overall, this is definitely better designed, other than the fact the speaker doesn't work, than the older version. It's a tougher case. It has a couple more options on it, as in you can turn the backlight on and off and things like that. The older one was basically, I think, just clear uh, a sound toggle option, where you couldn't turn the sound off. You could just go between particle clicks and alarm. And basically, yeah, just on off. That was, I think, about it on the older one. But yeah, there you go. You can see it's completely maxing that out anyway. But yeah, the good thing as well is these use the typical Chinese glass, uh, glass Geiger tubes, which are actually pretty good at um, not, 
you know, oversaturating with fairly decent things. So even though this only goes up to 99.99 there, the point is you can get this into a fairly strong radiation field without it just reading zero, because those glass tubes in these are fairly good. So yeah, like I said, it seems quite an alright unit. Um, but as I said, just annoyingly, the speaker doesn't work on this one. Um, oh, that's knocked it off by doing that, so that's that's not great if you give it a very light tap. Oh, it, good, the dosing actually go carries on when it's turned off, that's good. So that is impressive. The old one didn't do that. But yeah, that will be where the speaker is, I imagine. So they've either forgot to put one in, or, um, you know, it's not been welded on properly, so I'll have a look at that a bit later. But there we go, that's um, a BR9B, uh, so thanks for Hype for sending me this one for free. Definitely not the best Chinese Geiger counter out there, but for a budget Geiger, it's actually all right. You know, it's certainly for the money, you can then find out if you're being irradiated and you can buy these brand new, they're not like surplus units.